Okay, people. This is part three of the diagnosis on saying what's wrong with this motherboard. Now, first thing first, I'm going to try every memory module that I have. This would be a total of 4 gigs of memory. Okay. So you won't think I'm lying to you. I have no reason to lie. You hear the beats? Okay. I'm going to power it off. I'm going to take out. See, it's stuck. Okay. That's that. Take these memory modules out and use a different set. These are the G-Scale Rip Jaws, as you can see. G-Scale Rip Jaws. These are 2 gigs apiece with a total of 4 gigs. Now, I got some more Rip Jaw G Skills. These are 4 gigs a piece. Same thing, different memory modules. And it's going to stop beeping, it's going to restart, and continue to beep. Okay, I'm going to hit the power switch. Now, these are Kingston memory modules. Yes. And I'm going to try these out. I didn't try these out at, at all. This is 8 gigs total. I'm going to turn it on. Let's see what happens. Same thing. And just to prove you wrong, there's a flaw in this motherboard. And I'm going to show you exactly how I figured this one out. I'm taking one memory module out. I'm going to hit the switch again. Power this boy up. Okay. You hear one post beep. Everything is coming up running. So you won't think I'm lying. Take a look. See for yourself. It's coming on.
everything is coming on just correct fine now there has got to be a flaw in this motherboard it has to be now I don't know what it is about gigabyte that I love so much but this is the third gigabyte motherboard that I actually purchased this is the third gigabyte motherboard that I purchased and one half of the memory slot modules is defective why I don't know is there anything that I can do to correct this um, basically let me know <clears throat> see this this is the mem the motherboard that I think so highly of too bad it doesn't like hurt me ultra durable gigabyte all right now And here's the same motherboard inside of a e machine. Yeah. The only reason I took the motherboard out of the e machine, it was going out. It was going bad. Yeah, I saw the symptoms. It would come on, but the power light button wouldn't light up with it. So I swapped it out. I guess it was a good motherboard from the beginning. But this board right here, this motherboard came to me DOA, and this motherboard, uh, I don't know. So I had three gigabyte motherboards, and one and a half works. I say it's a half because, as you saw, I displayed one memory slot module works, the other one does it. I'm going to shut this computer down. And I'm show you one last thing how I know that it's a faulty memory module slot. Now you see that this memory module, I'm going to take it out once the computer shuts down and put it over here and you're going to hear the same continuous beeps and I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it back on. I would be shocked that, like, like I thought. They go to rings again. Ring my bells. Now, I'm going to take this, this one out, plug it into the same one. Hit the switch, power it up. Okay, I'm gonna hit the switch again, take this out. Hit the switch again, power it back up. No beeps. I don't know what it is about this motherboard that's not working. You hit a one pulse in the middle of the sentence. Okay. Okay, as you can see it's coming on. Now, all these memory modules work just fine. It's just this problem with the uh memory slot uh, this one of the memory module slots is defective I don't know what it is 
I can try every one of these memory modules one by one. I already did that off camera. Just take my word for it. Um, this bill is for my auntie, and I don't want to give her no faulty computer because she's only able to utilize just two gigs of memory. This is a total of four gigs, but with the motherboard, it only shows you, it, you can only use two gigs. So it's like, I, I spent money for both of these. It was like $34.99, $35.99, something like that, for four gigs. But I'm not only able to use one. And I have a 64-bit operating system, Windows 7, of course. And I'm only able to utilize two gigs of it. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. Um, Elliot Fleming of Fleming Computer Tech. Damn gigabyte! I'll see you guys later. Later. Bye for now.